Yes. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, Bert. So what's the topic of the stories today? I'm glad you asked. Today, uh, Bestie, you're joining me for Reddit stories on a Dawscast episode. Woo! Anyway, what? Uh, so today's topic is uh, pizza stories. Or right. theme, whatever you want to call it, I guess. So I gathered a couple of uh, pizza stories here. And, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be reading them. All right. So you're gonna learn how bad I can read English here soon enough, and speak it too. Ah, uh, uh, goody. <laughs> so, uh, of course, the majority of these are from "Am I the Asshole?" because that's where I find most of these stories. Yeah. And it seems to be the Reddit that most people really seem to want to watch me read more and more. Anyway. This first story is, am I the asshole for eating the toppings off my boyfriend's pizza? <laughs> pizza, not pe- alright. Well, earlier, earlier tonight, I ordered a Hawaiian pizza with my boyfriend. We've only been dating a month, so it's the first time I ate pizza with him. We only finished about half, and when we went to watch TV, I was still hungry, so I ate the toppings off of pizza. When he saw, he absolutely flipped out. He said that he was saving it for lunch tomorrow, that he had never met anyone who would do anything like this, and gen and just generally really upset. Um, he's talking about how he was looking forward to having leftover pizza for lunch. Now I've ruined his lunch. I ordered to buy him another pizza, but he kept saying it wasn't about that, and I just ruined his day. Is he re overreacting? Or am I the asshole? Bro, what? Why would she only eat the toppings off the pizza? Like, if you're gonna do that, you might as well just freaking eat the pizza. Like, yeah. what? Maybe just have, like, maybe, another yes. slice. Yeah, just get another slice, don't... But yeah, Is there just one to. slice? Like, what? I'm so confused. But uh, I'm still, like... I, I think this is an everyone sucks here kind of situation. <laughs> because like I feel like the boyfriend is just overreacting. It's like, God, she ate the toppings off the pizza. What am I gonna do now? My life is yeah, ruined. Like, I, I can't do anything pizza, from this but... point on. Yeah. I mean, it, at that it's point, it's just a cheese pizza. So I mean, if it's really like that important to him, like, damn, this this thing ruined his whole day. Like, how bad of a day were you having that this is the thing that ruined that, that just puts everything. it overboard yeah that's the line that's crossed <laughs> this is the line that you cannot my... come back from yeah oh my god um and uh a majority of the vote was that she is the asshole which like i said, mean that is a really weird thing i i'd lean more towards probably her because like it's just a weird thing to do to just eat the topic yeah but I mean, she offered to buy him another pizza, which is, you know, if she was just like, hey, you're overreacting, shut up, <laughs> then I would have been like, hella asshole. But like the fact that she offered to buy a whole another one, kind of like, okay, that gives you points there. Yeah. Honestly, it would have just accepted the pizza. Like, come on. What? Yeah. Uh uh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, next story. This one comes from Today I Fucked Up. <laughs> Today I fucked up by ordering a pizza while I was browned out. What? I think what that does means, that mean? I think that means drunk or something like that. Okay. This so it's happened... not greened out unless he should himself or something. <laughs> I was thinking that too. Maybe he did. We'll find out, I guess. <laughs> I haven't read the story yet, so I've only, I've only just looked up titles. <laughs> yeah. Um, this happened about six years ago, but I'm finally... Uh, wow, what the fuck just happened to myself? <laughs> Did I just have a stroke? What was that? This happened about six years ago, but I'm finally brave enough to share online. I was always a beer drinker, but had started getting mm -hmm. into mixers. It was only at parties and such, but I finally bought my own bottle of Kessler 
and a two liter of Coke for at home. One night yeah. after work, 9.30 p.m., I mixed my first drink about 50-50. Things were fine. I was having a good time and decided to spark up a bowl as the night went on. My drinks were becoming a bit lopsided. 50-50 mm-hmm. turned into 60-40. In favor of Kessler, it probably continued that trend. I honestly have no idea. Around 1 a.m., I ordered a pizza. I remember having $40 in my pocket, $20 bills, and $200 in my right pocket, $100 bills. The pizza came to about $25, closer to $30, maybe. Mm-hmm. Pizza delivery guy uh, shows up. I answer the door. He gives me the pizza, and I give him money. I say, all yours, buddy. I specifically remember him saying, oh my god, are you serious? In my mind, I thought, Hell, yeah, dude, it's just a $15 tip. Happy to, thanks for the pizza, no problem, man, have a good night, I say. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you can see, you can all see where this is going. The next morning I get up uh, for the day, I get ready to sh- shower, take the stuff out of my pockets, $40 is there, two, t- uh, two $20 bills. Some lucky guy was delivering pizza and got $170 tips on a $3 pizza meal. Now, it just makes me laugh. I think about that must have made someone's night. Uh, Thought about what I would have done if I got that tip, lol. TLDR. I don't know what that means. I'm still not that big of Reddit. Damn it. I'm not a real Redditor. I don't know all the acronyms and shit. Fuck. God, I'm just a virgin. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Damn, that's didn't, wild. Though. Didn't know my limit. Oh, there's more. Didn't know my limits. Uh, meant to give $40 for a pizza and accidentally gave 200 Edit. Thanks, everyone. Amazing to get home from work and seeing this blew up. For those who are wondering, browning out. It's basically blacking out however you remember bits and pieces okay bits and pieces yeah. dude that's cornier than a farmer's shit man. what the fuck what <laughs> <laughs> browning out what the f- kind of phrase is that anyway um cool story bro <laughs> yeah. i'm just i'm just like this guy who got the pizza is like holy shit yeah. <laughs> or the, the the guy who uh, got the tip was like holy shit two hundred dollar <laughs> tip or like that's a hundred dollar tip whatever yeah that's wild this guy definitely went and blew that money on hookers for real <laughs> or well maybe they blew him <laughs> all right moving on as soon as the app loads, moving on. <laughs> <clears throat> moving on. Jesus, what is wrong? I think it's wi- time to move on. Uh, the Wi-Fi is still loading. <laughs> Hold on, this is a little awkward. Um, here we go. Am I the asshole for taking home the leftover pizza? Four of us went out to pizza. Jill always likes getting a cheese pie, and we always tease her because it's based. It's so basic and boring. I can, like, this is a white bitch telling the story. (laughs) Jill always is getting a pizza pie, and we always tease her. It's so basic and boring. (laughs) Oh, my God, girl. Anyway, (laughs) Jill and Noah got a cheese pie to share. My friend and I got our own pie. When the pizza came out, the cheese pizza, pizza looked good. So I took a slice from Jill, Jill's pie saying, I'm going to take a slice. Wow, what a bitch. Uh, then I only got had one slice from the other pizza with toppings that we had ordered. Towards the end of the dinner, the waiter packed up the toppings pizza without asking. Uh, there were four slices left. I peered into the bag and the slices were all wrapped together. I said I can take home, take one slice home for my BF. Noah and the other friend said sure. Noah paid for dinner and uh, said we could pay him back later. I ended up taking the entire leftover bag home because no one said anything. And now boyfriend and I 
could have more pizza to eat later. <laughs> so what the issue is now, Jill later called me out on taking half the pie home. She said Noah said he was still hungry and he is not a confrontational person. Is not a confrontational person. So of course he wasn't going to ask me for the pizza back so he could have a slice. She also was mad I took a slice from her pie because she felt like I was purposely saying saving slices from the other pizza so I could take it home for my boyfriend. Then she was getting on me for not paying Noah back for my potion, uh, portion of the dinner, saying I am always so st- stingy. Stingy? Stingy. Okay, just say so. Uh, and cheap with everything, and she is tired of it. I don't have his Zenmo, and I don't know what to, I owe. Not sure what her issue is with me. Is it just pizza, but who is being the a-hole? Me or Jill? And uh, Dude, what about the guy? Are you serious? That little bitch couldn't be like, oh yeah, that's my pizza. Like, are you serious? Bro, nobody said anything? Nobody? Not even Jill? She saw her take the pizza. Yeah, that's what I'm confused Dude, that's about. fucking wild. Like, and also, also the, the I, I switch thought she between just asked for a slice. And pizza, but like, yeah. Like, I thought this lady just asked for a sl- this person just asked for a slice, not the whole fucking pizza, you know? Like, yeah. where, where is it? So, uh, was there a total of three or four of them? Uh, looks... It says four of us went out. Four of us went out. So yeah. she took a slice from everybody, pretty much? Like, Seems just one like slice it. from everybody? And then she took all of their slices, like, home. That's so weird. <laughs> It, it like so, she she literally nobody, says like... she literally says right here. Um, I peered into the bag and all the slices were all wrapped together. I said, "Can I take one slice home?" So why the fuck did she take all four of them? <laughs> yeah, why, why why wouldn't she like at least just grab her own <laughs> slice? She's just like, oh yeah, let me just get away with this one real quick. Like, I don't know. that's wild. <laughs> yeah, kind of cringe. But. Yeah, I thought just... something like pizza was something that people would, like, fight and die over. I can't believe that. They just sat back and watched her take their freaking leftovers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Someone tried to take my leftovers. I'd be like, uh, the fuck? And if he wasn't, like, confrontational, then he probably never even mentioned, hey, this is the total amount you owe, or that. Like, unless you have the receipt, like, you're not gonna know the exact amount. Like, he should have messaged her, like, hey... You know, this is how much to pay me back. I don't know why the other girl's getting on her. <laughs> That's a weird one. I don't know. I don't know, like, which one would be more in the wrong. I feel like it's her because she's the one that didn't say anything in the first place. Like, she did, She took all the slices, like, yeah, and saying she's, she's like, separate. Even in the beginning, she's like, oh, this regular cheese pizza is so... Uh, basic and boring and they're like oh shit can i get a slice of that shit yo <laughs> yeah that's like, so weird like what? what the fuck is she phantom taxing everyone like why the hell is she taking a bit of their food like <laughs> that's so fucking weird <laughs> this this top comment here kind of points this all out uh this must be trolling you cannot seriously believe you're not the a here you tease j- uh, asshole by the way that's what a means um yeah you tease i just wanted to let you know because you know i know you're not you know all there upstairs um, you tease Jill for her taste, but when it comes down to it, you ate her and Noah's food instead of what you ordered. You didn't ask Jill and Noah if you could have a slice. You just told them that you were going to dig into their food. Exactly. That's another thing. Like, she just doesn't ask. She just straight up says, what was it? I'm going to take a slice. <laughs> yeah. Like, and um, slice, like, all four of them. What? No. Like, did she order a pizza herself, or was she sharing with someone? Like, oh. I get if she was like if she was sharing pizza with someone and go oh, t- take a you like leftover slice home for her boyfriend is what she said. Then why would she freaking? Yeah, what? <laughs> it doesn't tell you who the fourth person is. It just says Jill and Noah. Jill and Noah. Ha! Huh. J- Jill and Noah got a cheese pie to share. My friend and I got our own. Okay. 
So either she was sharing with the other person, or they both got several pieces? I, I don't know. Regardless, it would make sense if, oh yeah, the slice that she, or the pizza she was sharing with her friend, like, obviously she got leftovers of, because that was their food. But, damn. All their food? <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, like... Oh, so, how big are these pizzas? Are they, like, actual pizza size? Like, did they, like... Like, was that, like, a ten-slice pizza that they're all sharing and stuff? Like, it's a lot of pizza. Or is it, like, those personal pizzas that are, like, cut into fours, you know, that are really small? Where is like, this what? pizza place? What the... <laughs> yeah, what, what is kind of pizza? Yeah. <laughs> what is pizza? All right. Um, continue reading a little bit more of this comment. Uh, so you're the asshole of teasing uh, asshole for taking their food without asking, and then you're the asshole for saying you were going to take one slice home for your boyfriend, but then took the entire bag. Yeah, exactly. She, like, knowingly, she knowingly took the bag. Like uh, she's like peeks into the bag and is like. Oh, I'm gonna take one slice home and then takes the whole bag. Like, um, the math doesn't equal up there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, I'm guessing. Yeah, just you because didn't... just because nobody pointed it out doesn't mean that she wasn't in the wrong. Like, there's plenty of times where like you could see somebody doing something bad, and it's like, oh well, but you don't like say anything, you know, type of thing. Like, you're like, uh, that's not quite right, but I don't want to like mention it, type of thing. Like, yeah. What the hell? I mean, this guy Noah should have been like, "Hey, I thought you said you were gonna just take a slice. Why are you taking the whole fucking thing?" Yeah, how how oh my god, the whole bag too. Like, how do you not like see her grab the bag, like not separate her slice out, not like grab her own, not like remove it, give everybody else their slices? Like, yeah, I what? just I, I don't I don't get this. This Noah guy <laughs> is weirding me out here. He's not an <laughs> asshole. I'm just like, why didn't you say anything? Like, I get you're non-confrontational, but you could have at least said, hey, you just took the whole bag. Um, I thought you said you were going to take a slice. That's yeah. not exactly confrontational. It doesn't, get, I, it doesn't get confrontational unless you're like, hey, bitch, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, like, unless you're that, like, worried that your friend's going to get, like, instantly, like, mad at you like i think it should be fine and not confrontational to be like hey you said you're gonna take one slice or oh you know why did nobody else go for the slices <laughs> like if that was my pizza i would have been on it i would have been like oh <laughs> yo and like i don't know yeah um i'm guessing you didn't ask if the others wanted some either but since no one said anything you just assumed you could have it all yeah cringe it's not yeah, just what pizza. Capitalism. Yeah, <laughs> you're rude and inconsiderate. Considering it seems you must have made no attempt at getting back to Noah to ask what you owe. Jill is probably also right that you are cheap. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Cheap. Dude. Uh, yeah, another comment here. Uh, you're the asshole. What kind of sorry excuses? I don't know how much I owe. Call slash look up the place and find out how much that pizza cost and pay for the entire pizza since you took four slices home and ate two more, which is only two slices short of the entire pie. Ask for Jill and Noah's. Uh, ask Jill for Noah's Venmo. Uh, or ask Noah for his Venmo, PayPal, whatever. You clearly have no intention of paying since you can't even be able to figure out how much you owe or make in any effort whatsoever to transfer the money. You're mooching off your friend and Jill called you out on your bullshit. For real. I don't know how much I owe. I can't just easily, you know, talk to my friend about how much I owe because that would be too easy. <laughs> yeah, this this seems like a bad person to have pizza with. Yeah. I'm still just like baffled me how she's like, okay, I'll just take one slice and takes all four of them. <laughs> like yeah. the math is not mathing. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. Next story. Am I the asshole for ordering pizza at a vegetarian wedding? This one should be good. I, 36 male, because that was so important to know, 
was a groomsman <laughs> for my friend Sarah's 34 female, also very important to know, wedding this past week. I'm only acquaintances. See, I read that big word. You proud of me, bestie? Yes. Cool. Um, <laughs> with the groom. <laughs> But because I've known Sarah for nearly 20 years, she wanted me in the party. I'm on medication for anxiety and depression that has to be taken at at a certain time of the day and also requires food. So I asked Sarah what time the food will be served. Now, this is a vegetarian wedding. I'm not vegetarian, but I have no problem not, not eating meat for a meal, especially when it comes to supporting my friend. The only issue is I had uh, was when I found out the size of the meals. The entire course consisted of side salad, a side of corn, and a side of broccoli. What the fuck? Damn, that's sad. Like, there's so many extravagant vegetarian meals you can make, and you went with the basic, most, not, like, unpreppable stuff. You, or the most prepped stuff, like lettuce, corn, broccoli. What? You couldn't get extravagant with it and make something, like, actually fancy for a wedding? Just a bunch of side dishes? <laughs> if this is my Bro. wedding, I'd be sad to see that meal come <laughs> out. I'd be like, I'm happy this man ever. I just got married to the love of my wife. What the fuck is this meal? <laughs> no. No, it's just salad. What the fuck? Broccoli? <laughs> You put carrots? Corn? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, if this were only for a few hours, that wouldn't be a problem. But because the wedding party has to arrive before everyone, between the ceremony and the shuffling to the reception, the whole event was going to be over eight hours, and I knew there was no way a small salad and a few tablespoons of corn and broccoli or, hold on, I gotta burp. Uh, uh, there we go. Where was I? We're going to hold me over. I'm 6'2", uh, 185 pounds, F-W-I-W. Bessie, what does that mean? F-W- what? F-W-I-W. Uh, feet, wiener, in wiener. Hell yeah, that's what it means right there. I don't know what that means. Anyway, uh, when Sarah told me uh, what they were serving, I said something like, oh, will there be another entree? And she immediately got defensive, so I hushed myself before causing any further tensions. Bro! (laughs) Of course she did. Fucking vegetarians, bro. I swear to God. So he couldn't, like, leave the wedding? Like, he couldn't, like, just quickly go off and, like, Get, go, go to like the nearest McDonald's. He had to order and like have delivery brought to the wedding. Is that what's going on? I guess I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Wouldn't it be kind of weird though, just to be like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna bounce," and then like you disappear for like thirty minutes and come back like, "Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Didn't go anywhere. Don't worry about it." <laughs> oh, what? You still a burger on my breath? Nah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just I fucking hate this. This is the thing that I hate about vegetarians. Is like, he's like, oh, will there be another entree? And she's like, no, they're fucking. It just says she got defensive, but I can already picture it in my head. Like, how dare you? I bet you eat meat, you freaking animal killer. All right, <laughs> sorry, <clears throat> just vegans trick me. Trick me? Jesus, I can't even speak, bro. Well, she. It said that they were vegetarian, right? Which means they still eat like animal product, just not. Wait, yeah. then why would that be a big deal? Unless, I guess, he ordered pepperoni pizza? Because if it was just cheese pizza, like, there's no meat in it, well, per se. Well, we still haven't there's gotten to that beans. part yet, so maybe there's uh, something. Yeah. He gets, like, a, um, I don't know, a meat the, lovers. The triple meat, yeah, the meat lovers. <laughs> Every single kind of meat there is on a pizza. <laughs> he gets Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> Arby's meets meat pizza. Oh my god. They put every single meat on a pizza and then they have the meat and the pizza, bro. This is genius. <laughs> I gotta contact Arby's. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Arby's, I got a new pitch for you. All right. Normally, I would have been straightforward about all this. 
but I could see she was already stressed and I didn't want to add to it. So I decided during the reception dinner that I was going to covertly uh, order a pizza. Meet the guy outside and just <laughs> sneak in. And <laughs> I'm, I'm for some reason picturing this guy like, like like um Sam Fisher or a uh, Metal Gear Solid you know kind of dude just like puts on some like spy goggles and goes into stealth mode sneaks out of the wedding <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway um where was it uh sneaking out there go a few slices uh meet the guy outside and just sneak in and out of here and there to grab a few slices from um, where the fuck am I <laughs> uh, meet the guy outside and just sneak sneak in and out of here and grab a few slices from my car uh, I told my friend this and of course word got around to some of the other party members turns out I wasn't the only one who was uncomfortable going so many hours with little food Cause it, it that's the like my big issue. You can have a vegetarian wedding, but you gotta have at least something for your yeah. You guests. have to like cater for like the other people that have a different eating style. Yeah, like I definitely understand. Or these bigger portions? Are you serious? Like what? Salad and corn and broccoli? Like, come on! You could you didn't have a little bit more budget on the food? <laughs> now, I personally never. I don't think I've ever had like. Uh, plant-based meats or whatever, but surely oh, you could, like, God, no. th throw Ooh. some of that shit in there if you really want to. Dude, plant-based meats are so bad. They're like literally just all soy, and soy is not that great for you. <laughs> it's so great. What are you talking about? Yeah. I so remember uh, I went to Costco once, uh, side story, I went to Costco once and only once. I've never been there before and ever again. Um, mm -hmm. I've been there several times. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, went there once, and uh, we were in like uh, you know one of the frozen meat sections, and I saw this yeah. product that just said nugs. <laughs> and I oh, was like, yeah. And I was like, damn, I kind of will get that just because of the name. And my mom was there, and she's like, um, that's plant based. And I went, oh fuck that, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and she's so, like, but we can grab some like other chicken nuggets. I'm like, nah, only one of the nugs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm comfortable going so many hours with little food. So by the time I placed the order, there were about 12 other people, all from the wedding party, throwing down. I ordered four larges and kept them in my car so people could just kind of come and go and grab some whenever they were hungry. Dude, that's so this sad. Is, this, is, this is like a drug deal. That's like he's, so... he's waiting by his car. He's like, someone comes out of the party. He's like, hey man, you, um... I hear you're the guy who uh, I gotta go to to get some of this um, good stuff. Yeah. It's like, you got the money? Hell yeah. Hands him a dollar bill. They'll get you one slice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the dude's doing like the, the, the thing where, you know, crackheads scratch their neck or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Man, I just, I gotta get that pizza to me, bro. Come on. I can quit whenever I want. <laughs> Anyway, um, nobody really seemed to notice anything until Sarah couldn't find the groom anywhere. She had her mom help her find him, and as you can guess, she found him out by my car eating pizza. Well, to say she blew up was an understatement. Uh, she said I embarrassed her, made her feel cheap, said I only did this because it was vegetarian wedding. Uh, three of the pizzas had meat on them okay i tried to apologize for uh apologize explain the situation but she was having none of it the other party members that were eating this pizza were all silent i was thrown to the wolves wow what a bunch of assholes uh <laughs> she told me to leave while her mom stared daggers at me it's been four days and she hasn't responded to me her husband did reach out to apologize for all the confusion but the majority of her friends, even some who ate the pizza, are telling me I'm an asshole. Wow, what a bunch of assholes. Telling me I'm an asshole. What did I, that, and what I did was unforgivable as she'll always be remembering her wedding as 
not being good enough because of my stunt. Am I the asshole? And I can already tell you no. And that last part makes me really laugh. The friends being like, how could you? And stuffing pizza in their mouth. How could you do yeah. this, bro? This is her wedding. Damn. You don't got ranch. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like it. Fuckers. Yeah. (laughs) If she put more budget into the food, or if she decided to have like a side thing for people that aren't vegetarian, that would have been way helpful. But also the fact that like he didn't mention anything, and so this word got around, and like people were sneaking out, and how they all didn't like how they all like felt the same about it. It's like, oh, that feels so awkward. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just like kind of going out to eat pizza. Yeah, uneasy with the <laughs> fact that like, so you left them in your car and just what left your car unlocked so people could just come and go as they wanted. Like, that, is that what you, this guy did? Because like, damn, bro, just tell your friend that you can't eat the salads, bro. <laughs> yeah. He really should have just like explained the situation. Like, hey, I have a medical condition. I'm not gonna be able to eat all that. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to need some Definitely communication. <laughs> yeah. But the, the friends who are, like, agreeing with the uh, the wife, you know, being like, how could you do this horrible thing? And meanwhile, they they were still the ones eating the pizza. It's like, bro, seriously? Like, yeah. you got no place to talk shit when you were the one eating the pizza. Yeah, because they, like, probably also felt the same, <laughs> like, about the food. So it's like, dude... Yeah, it really pisses me off that the friends were just kind of like standing by watching her go off on him rather than someone stepping in and being like, hey, it's not his fault. We all wanted some pizza, so we all chipped in or whatever. Or he got us the pizza because, you know, your fucking food was dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry. For a vegetarian, you can have a vegetarian wedding. Just make sure you have food for everyone. But a, a little bit of salad with some corn what was a teaspoon of broccoli like that's not (laughs) that's not a meal that's depressing the depressing yeah it's just so sad yeah like good god where did all the budget go the dress (laughs) oh shit all right (laughs) i apologize to all my uh bridesmaids who are watching this right now all none of you (laughs) <laughs> is this thing even capturing it? Just realized... Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I had it set to. Well, that was the uh, last pizza story I had. Damn. It's only been a 30-minute episode. <laughs> so, yeah, let me see if I can find at least one more. So, go ahead and talk to the audience while I find one more. Okay. Um... So how you guys this day has been? <laughs> Good? Oh, that's great to hear. Yeah, um, last night, um, around like 11, really late, like 11.40-ish at night, I was called in to go to work at 5 in the morning because there's so many call-outs, and I was like, okay, you know what, this is fine. But I got like no sleep it's at like all. The, Maybe like, like the meme of the, the dog that's in the house on fire. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. Like, <laughs> I had exactly like... Maybe two unconsecutive hours of sleep because I like went to sleep. I woke back up in the middle of the night and I was really trying to sleep. And then it was like three o'clock and I was like, dude. And I went back to sleep and it was four and I was like, okay, I'm getting up. I'm getting ready. But it, I was, it was only a four hour shift. It was just a five to nine. Um, but it was really hitting me because I, I had an energy drink and then I was running some errands. So I went to Dutch Bros and I got myself a little, you know, little rebel energy drink. And on the way back home, I'm getting tired at the wheel, and I'm really trying to lock in. <laughs> My goddamn dude. <laughs> but, yeah. All good. I'm at home. Everything's okay. Definitely not gonna immediately take a nap after this episode. And or just straight up sleep. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I found one more, so, uh... Let's uh, read it, shall we? Yeah. Am I the asshole for letting not letting my sister eat a slice of pizza? <laughs> I 
I can't believe I'm making this post about this because it's so ridiculous, but I need some existential validation. External validation, sorry. <laughs> My brain don't work. Um, we ordered pizza this evening for dinner. My mom and I hate onions on pizza, but my sister loves them. So I suggested we compromise by getting onions on ha half. Uh, when the pizza arrived, we were all eating our respective slices until my sister reached out for a slice without onions. I stopped her and said that that slice was meant for either me or mom, not her. She immediately got offended and said I was being extremely lewd for, and stealing food from her mouth. I pointed out that if she eats the slice, then my mom and I would be forced to eat a slice with onions, which is completely defeats the point of ordering onions on one half hers. Uh, she just been pouty all night. If you really want one without onions, just take the onions off. Yeah, that's wild. Like, if it's being split three ways where half of it is onion and the other two don't want onion, that, the, the sister is already getting half of the pizza because yeah. she will eat the the stuff with the onion. Yeah. Like, let the mom and, you know, the reader or the writer just, you know, eat their oh, respective please. slices. What would that be? Like, I don't I don't know how big that pizza is, but, like, come on, they're getting way less than you're, you're having. Yeah, for like, like if it's like a pizza that's like cut into, I don't know, eight slices maybe. It's yeah, like, like they're both getting two, and then she's getting four. Yeah. Like, and like she, she reaches, already has. Them, she so. reaches <laughs> over for one of theirs. Like, bro, what? Yeah. Like, nah. Was... You wanted those slices. You get those slices. She been pout. She she has been pouty all night and insists that what. I did was un uncalled for because it's rude to ever stop someone from eating food. I, she doesn't. She doesn't have to stop eating food. She has her own slices. Yeah, she should have like moved her hand from whatever direction had the not onion and moved it to the part with the onion. I really don't think I'm in the wrong here, but her reaction has has me second guessing myself and makes me think I might be the asshole. Edit. I cannot believe this post for all of all posts blew up like this. To answer some repeat questions, my sister is 25 and I'm 27. We She's 25 acting like a freaking 12 year old? <laughs> Are you serious? She's pouting over fucking pizza that wasn't hers and she had her respective slices? Are you serious? She was 25. Hey man, you don't fuck with Dude. pizza. Dude. All right. Dude. We don't normally oh have. God petty arguments like this, which is why I was taken aback by her act actions and felt compelled to make a post. I paid for the pizza. We got a large, which typically has 10 slices. Not that that much matters because I'm a girl. Uh, some commenters assume, assume that I was male. Um, after reading a lot of the comments you guys have left, I can see this is a common problem in everyone's lives. I'm vegetarian and constantly have to deal with all the veggie options being woofed down by meat eaters at work and parties as well. Wow, she's vegetarian. She doesn't mind a pizza. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, because because it's a it's one without meat. Because vegetarians just don't eat meat. They can still eat like cheese and dairy. Uh, anyway, so yeah, damn, she's twenty five. I for some reason just envision them being like seventeen and. Like, the, the little sister being, like, uh, 12 or something like that. Yeah, I'm imagining, like, teenagers when I read this post. They're in their 20s, and they're acting like freaking teenagers, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, she also says, like, um, not that it matters much. What was it? Oh, yeah, right here. We got a large, which typically has 10 slices. So it's like, and so you and your mom had to spit, uh, split five slices, and she got five slices to herself. And yet she still reaches over for one. Yeah, what the fuck? Maybe they were like, man, who should get the uh, extra slice? And the little sister's just like, I'll take it, no problem. I got you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'll have six slices. I'm taking one for the team here. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> yeah, like, what? That's that's wild. Yeah, no. I, it just baffles me that they're 25 and 27, and this is the little sister's being all pouty over a pizza. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. <laughs> I definitely think it's more of the sisters in the wrong. Because obviously, like, come on, half the pizza's yours and you're trying to take, like, one of their slices? Like, yeah, I mean, the, the overall If you don't want was... onions on it, take one of yours and don't remove the onions. Like, the overall majority was crazy. not the asshole, so. Yeah. Uh, this first comment here. You're not the asshole. Your sister got an entire half pizza for herself while you and your mom had to share a uh, half pizza. And she still tried to eat your pizza? She's a major asshole here. Hell yeah. yeah. This is just wild. <laughs> Ugh. Like, I thought four slices of pizza girl was bad, but now, like, this bitch wants six? Like, damn. I'll get, like, pizza from, uh, you know. That was uh, definitely some, you know, sly stuff, because it's like, oh, they're not going to eat the onion one, so if I steal one of theirs, then, you know, more pizza that, for that her. That was some sly <laughs> stuff. Because like, pe pizza's... Oh, my God. Because, you know, pizza's sly... All right, you know what? Fuck you. I don't care. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway. I think uh, that, uh, that was an interesting story, but, yeah. Not the asshole. In my opinion, who do you think yeah. was the uh, biggest asshole out of all these? Oh God! <laughs> For me, I, I think really... it's it's either got to be the taking leftovers home or the uh, having a whole half a pizza and then wanting another slice. I was, yeah, I was literally thinking the same thing because like half a pizza to yourself and you're still acting childish, or taking home leftover pizza. That was your friends because nobody said anything and because you're like, oh yeah, you know, if nobody said anything, then I can just take it. Like, what? <laughs> oh, in case I forgot to mention the, uh, the, uh, ordering a pizza at a vegetarian wedding guy, broski mm -hmm. dude, I don't know. Um, was voted, uh, not the asshole, so. I don't know if I said that or not, but just I say it just in case I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. That whole situation seemed really like funky because there definitely wasn't communication within that wedding well, on the food. Because like, come he, on, like there, there was that part where he like <laughs> tried to press her about you know like is there gonna be another entree, and then I, I kind of wish he gave more info on like you know because where she where she said uh, or he said. Um, and she immediately got defensive, so I hushed myself. But it's like, well, what do you mean by defensive? Was she, like, pissed that you said that? Was she just like, no, sorry, there's not going to be any more food? You yeah. Know, if it was, like, if she, like, like bit your head off after just asking a simple question, I would have been like, okay, so clearly I can't talk Dude, to her. Dude, she was hungry herself. She got hangry. She's like, shit, I can get <laughs> she, enough food. <laughs> she... She was, she was hungry. getting angry. She was hungry just talking about the food because she was like, that's not going to be enough and I'm already hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> but, oh yeah, God. there we go. That was uh, Pizza Reddit Stories, uh, read by yours truly and joined by Swig, a.k.a. The Bestie. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys <laughs> ever have any more Reddit stories that you would like me to read, Reddit themes, whatever, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to comment down some uh, topics and uh, shit that we can talk about for other Dogscast episodes. And with that said, I will see you all next time. Also, I almost forgot. Important announcement. I, I wanted to announce this, like, for Ergo when we stream Backrooms mm -hmm. or something. But... Swig huh. has her own YouTube channel. Yes, I do. Aha. Uh -huh. Gibby. I also have a Twitch as well. And a Twitch. And a TikTok. Not really. I'm not really <laughs> No, 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 no. Don't mention that. Don't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's just forget about the Garfo C. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway so be sure to check that out when you get the chance everyone uh, I know you will because you're all simps anyway I'll see you guys later mm -hmm.